okay so i hope i'm saying this right this is a let's go Warner 166 cc motor Is a Bridge and Stratton motor. I'm using a standard Futaba remote control for the uh, transmitter. And I am showing the unit now that has, and it has been modified so that the rear wheels, the big wheels, were taken off. A bracket was built. Okay, one bracket, one L-shaped bracket. Going all the way around, Oops, sorry, all, all the way around, uh, and uh, it um, connects to some aluminum angle irons that I bought at Ace Hardware, and I'm using uh, M41 wheelchair motors, okay, and they are steel bracketed, three on each side. The motors are a steel bracketed three on each side of these steel brackets I don't even know what to call them other than that okay and then the, um, the uh, motor control board is a dimension engineering motor control board okay it's their bigger unit and uh, that's only because for the engine to go by, whatever that is, bus. That's only because I don't want to burn out the unit with the wheelchair motors, having a motor control board that's too small. Wired up to a receiver, Futaba receiver, and an on-off switch, which turns on the motor control board. And uh, it's fused. Okay, two batteries are running. These batteries are running uh, 24 volts. Uh, this box, I think, is a tackle box from Walmart. At least that's where I bought it in the fishing department of Walmart's. Okay. And uh, the uh, wheels are 10 inch wheels for an M41 uh, wheelchair motor. And Everything is supported basically by one bracket. I just have the bracket uh, running this way, L-shaped wise, on both sides. Uh, I gotta drill some holes in the, in, the, in the unit. Okay, and then I have these aluminum L-shaped brackets which I cut down and they are purchased at uh, Ace Hardware. This guy right here. Uh, one on each side.